So happy Easter. Cross the legs. Now, um, happy 420, first of all. We're, uh, we, the compassionate patients, are, as usual, grappling with um, the billionaire class like we do. You know, like practically anybody can say that, can't they, nowadays? So, um, we're, we're pushing back. We're pushing back, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to be okay because, they, you know, I have to think that or I'll go insane. Now, when, I, when it comes to uh, our topic today, Shona and I spoke briefly, and I asked her a question about real legalization, but we'll get to that in a minute. I've got that uh, MCLR. It's, um, it's right on my fa Twitter feed right here. Uh, Right here. This is uh, uh, the, uh, oh, I guess it's on Facebook. Yeah, it must be on Facebook. Anyway, I, um, I posted the link to MCLR. There it is. It's on my Facebook, Cannabis Legalization Initiative. I think it, it's on Twitter as well. So there's your link to uh, the full text. It's, it's long, just like Prop 64 is long. But the thing is, it, everything that Prop 64 Get, uh, take us takes away, you know. SP 420 gives you so gave us, and uh, I don't know how they can celebrate 420 unless it's just a time of day instead of um, the Senate bill that was written by more people than just a couple billionaires, so and legitimized by us as well. So um, Omar Figueroa, now he's a great attorney for our community. Omar Figueroa uh, has a statement here. And uh, he says, remember, in the event of federal raids, law enforcement are allowed to use deception as a means of criminal investigation, which means they can lie to you, the cops can lie to you, just to get information, so that's why you can't talk to them. <laughs> so anyway, Omar uh, says, don't believe the cop propagated myth that an undercover agent has to disclose his or her identity in response to a direct question. Well, actually, I had an undercover like tackle and beat me up before I even knew who they were, so <laughs> yeah, it didn't work for me. But anyway, stand up for your rights. I want to remain silent. I don't consent, and I want a lawyer. Those, those are the three only three things you need to say. I want to remain silent. I don't consent to a search of my car, my house, uh, my tent with closed flaps. You could just say that, you know, maybe they might not know any better. But, uh, and you want a lawyer. And, you know, of course, they'll, they'll even bring you a lawyer. They'll, they'll, uh, I've seen it happen. I've seen it in the tenderloin. They'll just, they'll bring lawyers to uh, people being detained and they'll, you know, so that's pretty cool. But uh, now, we don't have to, let's see, Stephen Scherer, the founder and director of ASA, which is not a, uh, an organization that I endorse. Once in a while, they'll speak for everybody, but usually, you know, they're trying to take my herb away. They, they're, they're more billionaires that don't pass the joint to anybody. So um, he wants to remain silent. So um, what I was going to say is uh, he told Fox News that a step being taken in preparation for stricter federal enforcement includes trying to pass legalization to change federal laws so that we don't have to have that conversation when it comes to patients and their medicine. And they're also, this is, uh, oh, there, that must be shown there. This is uh, from more, Omar Figueroa goes on to say, uh, we uh, do have raid trainings. We have tools that can be used to, to uh, be safe if there's a federal raid and make sure that we get through that experience safely. So you can read about that on my, on my Facebook feed as well. So uh, we do have, still ca have cannabis prohibition, even though they said it's, le it's legal, it's not. Don't be fooled. And uh, basically it's not, it's not legal and it, until the federal government says it's legal. Because, well, we've got Jeff Sessions' comments. And last time I said, well, maybe they're in collusion with these, uh, with the GOP. That's why the GOP said, well, maybe they'll back off. They, you know, we're, we're sending all, this administration, the Trump administration is sending so many mixed signals. You can't really believe anything they say, can you? You know, 
you really can't. You can't believe anything. That's the only thing you can believe is you can't believe anything they say. Um, and they'll say one thing, say another thing, and do something else, you know. <laughs> and so Jeff Sessions, uh, is he's been sort of like preparing us, you've been preparing for the worst with him. But really, you know, we beat back the health care initiative, so maybe we can beat this back as well. So... Let's hope so. I mean, we're working on this MCLR. Shona said, Shona Gokenauer and uh, of Access of Love, the educational director of Access of Love, said that uh, our, we're focusing on the state level this session and for MCLR. Now, I showed you it's on my Twitter feed, the link to read it. And um, so, let's see and there was an article from a year ago uh, about it's becoming much more frightening when you take into account Trump is the, and the new drugs are. And the panel of judges basically said you, you win for now, but a if a conservative party wins, the DEA gets refunded and it's on. So that was another post of Shona's. And let's see, I'm going through all these. Let's see. Yeah, there's the full text. It's on my Facebook right here. Oh, check this out. Give it a read. Uh, it didn't have. It doesn't have jail for for cannabis. So that's. I mean, jail for cannabis is un unconscionable, and like we've been saying over and over. So this was from April twentieth, twenty fifteen. I shared this. We thought we were all. We were really hopeful that MCLR was going to pass. That's a. Uh, Marijuana, uh, let's see, we occupied the herb. Now today, I was going to go to go over to uh, celebrate 420 <laughs> at Hippie Hill, but I'll tell you what, there, I, I got reports that they were just test checking everybody for everything. They put gates up, and it's just really hard to get in there now, and I just thought it's not really worth going to this year so I gave it a miss and uh, there I mean the last time I was there there were drones you didn't get a phone signal you can't really come or go from the hippie hill it's just solid people so it's a lot of people there and uh, oh you know and besides I have a show today so we had to uh, I had to pick because I could I if I went to the park I couldn't have done the show or live streamed it which was a, would have been a good idea but no can do. So we're doing things locally too. We'll be able to talk about it soon. There's things we're we're seeing progress and things are looking better. We've got to, but we can't slack. We have to keep on it. We have to keep. Um, okay, so. Okay, here we go. Here's some tweets that I put out. Now, now, Shona, I read. See, I've got to find her statement here. She had a st oh, I had. A, by the way, I had a fantasy of Trump being dragged from office like a United Airlines passenger. That got retweeted about two hundred times. And I got now the MCLR. It's it's pretty long. Now she, Shona suggested I talk about medical. Uh, MCLR, which is the, uh, a legalization measure with no jail time, like we've been saying. Now, version three is a continuance of the main document. And uh, Ed Rosenthal endorsed MCLR and uh, the Marijuana Control Legalization and Revenue Act initiative. And so that's Ed Rosenthal. Now, Snoop Dogg, he thinks uh, he's, you know, friends with a felon, you know, called Martha Stewart. And he unfortunately promoted jail for cannabis. I don't know why he would do that, but I guess he didn't read the right tweets or something because nobody could get to him. Trust me, we tried. <laughs> and uh, so we've got also here we go. Now, I, I don't understand why there's recreational, especially when we we figured out that Alzheimer's and cancer are both prevented by can, with cannabis use. Uh, 
cannabis has been shown to actually prevent the plaques from forming and from tumors from, you know, tumors are shrinking. So I don't understand why they have to do all these. I, I don't need men in white coats to tell me what to put in my body. It's just, in, it just sounds crazier than anything, especially chemotherapy. I mean, really? Like 3% of people are cured with chemotherapy and they're still, you know, pushing all these, the chemotherapy and the drugs to deal with chemotherapy. That's a, that's a uh, gold mine too. So, yeah, big pharma, just, you know, if you can, get, help yourself with the cannabis. It's better for you, I say. It's helping me, my cat, my mom, whoever else. Now, for people who are planning to join the, the Green Rush, you know, um, they think they can make millions of dollars in the cannabis industry, and um, they take entrepreneurs' money, and uh, and a lot of people just want want to not share the wealth. So that's basically what it is. So we're, we're um, See, the legislators also have power to change Prop 64, so that just, it doesn't sound really, it never sounded fixable to me. It never sounded like Prop 64 could be, could be fixed very easily, or, or if at all, because uh, it's just the doctor that promoted it, uh, Dr. Lyman, the main propo doctor proponent of cannabis, uh, let's call it Prop 64, fake legalization. He uh, says it's bad for you, so how can you, come on now. If it was bad for me, I'd be dead. A lot, of, we'd be dead. <laughs> Back in the seventies, and we've got. Let's see what else have I got? Oh, oh, here, here's the article I want to look. Homeland Se uh, Secretary Kelly. Now this is a uh, April eighteenth. This is a statement that came out. Homeland Security Se uh, Secretary. John Kelly Tuesday called marijuana a gateway drug and vowed his agency will uphold federal laws against its possession. And that's a sterner message than he delivered on the topic just last week. Well, I know this is, you know, these guys should just wear thongs because, you know, they flip flop all the time. You know, that's the story of this administration. And so um, it's a, he says it's a potentially dangerous gateway drug that frequently leads to the use of harder drugs. Um, and he said this during a speech, and uh, until that law is changed by Congress, we, we in Department of Homeland Security are sworn to uphold the laws that are on the books, he added. That was Sunday. He, he, that was on, uh, I guess, Chuck Todd, that show, I saw it, Meet the Press, probably on my DVR, so anyway. Jeff Sessions, he's an opponent. And sometimes some of them are saying they don't want to mess with cannabis patients, but we really don't know what they're going to define as a patient. You know, is it, does a patient mean that you know you have an hour to live, or is it you know, what it is now is just whatever it helps, whatever ailment cannabis will help, is how Prop 215 is craftily written, and it was good. It was good, you know. It meant that a lot of people were helped. A lot of people can't, get, uh, many patients can't get a diagnosis from a doctor anyway, you know. So they're pretty much on their own to obtain cannabis legally. With, um, and the, let's face it, the, this recreational cannabis is not, I don't believe it. I don't want to buy it because my money is going to be going to, ta my tax money, like 80% goes to cops. So why would I? Why would I actually buy it? So I, I really urge you to uh, boycott Prop 64 bunk. I think I got a call. Someone's calling in. They didn't use. Hey, what's up? You're calling my mobile. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me call your show. Bye. Hmm. And then, sun, see, it, it ties in with undocumented immigrants, cannabis. They've used cannabis to mess with, with people for years, you know. We know which people, hippies and, you know, people of color. So it's, it's just more of this. Prop 64 really didn't help anybody stay out of jail or get any rights that we didn't have before. 
Hey, G. Hi, Denise. How you going? Listen, um, okay, you have like about five minutes left. Okay, I, I wanted to talk about how the U.S. government keeps telling us that North Korea has to develop ICAMBs that reach the United States. They already have submarines with nuclear uh, capabilities to take out the coastal cities. So the danger is imminent and the danger is real. Especially for us, well, you know, Donald Trump, do you think they, that his administration cares whether California gets wiped out? Because actually we didn't vote for him, so. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, anyway, every coastal city is in range of the North Korean Navy. New York, Georgia, Atlanta, San Francisco, L.A. So uh, I hope Trump doesn't screw this one up. It'll cost us 30,000 American troops and millions of Korean lives. Yeah, he's everything he does is wrong. I haven't, I haven't seen, I have yet to see this president do anything right. He's, uh, I posted something about him. Here's, <laughs> you might think this is funny. Yeah. Oh, uh, here, let's get to it. I posted it today. It's about D Donald Trump. Does this, does this big ass make my country look small? And it has a picture of Donald Trump anyway. There it is. Does this big ass make my country look small? So <laughs> that's just a laugh <laughs> today. Now remember that, you, you know, if you think that, I don't know, 420, I got reports that 420 celebration, I, I was turned off, turned off by how, well, there weren't, it wasn't well attended from the reports I'm getting, and that uh, there, there's gates around the whole uh, hippie hill, and nobody can really get in there uh, very quickly. You have to wait in line just to get in, so I'm over it. <laughs> it was fun, and then they had drones, they probably have drones and no phone signals, so it's, that's a deal breaker, too, and uh so what now before Gilbert rang up and talked about North Korea, which yeah, that's scary, all right. That's a hornet's nest we shouldn't be poking around in. It's just he just does it to say he does this say uh, Kim Jong Un does his saber rattling just to seem tough and macho, but he doesn't he really doesn't want to go to war. He just does it to save face with his people and he's it's a mind control thing, but you know we to, to argue with a crazy person makes you look crazy, too. That's what I'm saying. That's why Trump shouldn't really argue with this guy, because it makes him look like a nut job, you know? <laughs> this is, yeah. So, yeah, Trump. So we've got, we've got more. My notifications, let's see, let's go down them. Um, people were, were retweeting... Uh, There's no such thing as recreational cannabis because it prevents disease. Clueless Jerry Brown wades into a pot bat battle with plans to merge medical and recreational. So that's an article you can read on my, on my uh, Twitter feed. So this is what Jer Jerry Brown is a mixed bag. First he, he wanted us to have compassionate gardens and then now he wants us, he just, he's all over the place. I guess it's whoever's given him money at the time. I, I don't know. I, Shona could probably answer that better than I can, and she'll be on a future show. So I'm very happy to um, say that she's making a lot of progress down at City Hall. And so she, oh God, I've only got a minute and a half. Okay, and so, now, um, cities and counties can override all that, all those uh, ma magnificent laws for legal cannabis. They can override any of them. They can even not allow cannabis at all. <laughs> it's up to the city and county, you know. You can override state law by allowing local governments to re regulate marijuana re regulated activities. So it just depends on where you live. Be careful, you know. I just, 
Well, we got to see. This year is going to be going to tell. It's going to be a deal breaker. It's going to tell where this where legalization is going. See if we can get an initiative on the ballot next year. We need money. We need to get the information out that this is not legalization. We still need a lot. We can't really fix it. We have to replace this. So I, I really wish you a happy 420, and hope next 4. Uh, let's work to make next 420. Uh, look brighter with more civil rights than we have now. And uh, so, with, let's see, I have 30 seconds. So I'd like to urge you to watch, there's some good shows on, uh, on BayVac, Channel 76. There's some live shows, Freedom is a Constant Struggle, Frank Molinaro's uh, Mystery, Mystery School, Psychic Frank's Mystery School, which will be next week at 5 p.m. on this channel. So, um, and I urge you to adopt a shelter pet. They're waiting.